What's up guys, Mike Patrick. This video is gonna be about how chosen, peculiar, you are loners, and why you are loners, okay? Now look, this video was inspired by something personal. I'm not gonna speak names or anything like this, but I will share that this video was inspired by what I felt like was a personal attack, okay? But I have to use it because sometimes I do want to also show you guys that I do go through certain things. Everything ain't a um, everything ain't a channel. A lot of information that I get, a lot of times it's just stuff that's in the ethers that I can pull in that I know applies to people. You know what I mean? Based on um, having a lot of understanding and a lot of experience with human behavior. Okay, so a lot of things I've um, I've seen secondhand, some things I've experienced, some things I just know it's out there. You know what I mean? Um, and it can help somebody, all right? But this is going to be a personal situation where I had somebody uh, text me and say they was trying to get me to go to a certain place or whatever. And um, I was like, Nah, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm good. I'm not going to go. I was going to go. And then I was like, nah, I just ain't feel like I was getting kind of sleepy because I go to bed kind of early and things like that. And I was starting to get sleepy already. I had been outside all day, did my workout outside, did all my, you know, my practices and my workout and my routines and things like that all day. And so I got sleepy, you know, around five or six in the, um, in the evening. So um, I was like, I'm not going to go. So this person just out of nowhere texts me like, uh, oh, what it was, what it was too was my kids were are at this particular place. So I already went, you know, it's it's a um, holiday season or whatnot. And so a lot of family are together and things like that, well, which is a good thing. And everybody's having a good time. And, um, and so I had already went on Thanksgiving Day to this particular place. But I just, and I was going to go, like I said, I was going to go Friday, yesterday, right? But I just changed my mind the last moment. You know what I mean? I just didn't feel like going. Um, so, but my kids were still there. So I was, um, I was just telling the person, just uh, make sure that, that you find out whether the kids want to stay or whether they want to go. Don't just leave them there. Ask them, are they ready to leave? Or, you know what I mean? Or if they want to stay, allow them to determine whether they wanted to stay or go. Um, and so the thing is, uh, the person was like, uh, no, let the kids, stay. they just came out of nowhere, like just start projecting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like um, it was like, uh, you know, if the kids, they said in a text message, but you can kind of feel energy through text messages. And so they were like, um, if the kids want to stay, let them stay there and have fun. If, if you're lonely, uh, why don't you just come like that? And then I was just like, whoa, the projection. And the thing is, I have been doing video. I did. I just done some recent videos that kind of ties into all this. So this is a prime example of what the type of stuff that I'm talking about. So that was a clear projection. This person had no grounds, no indication. I said nothing that would warrant that type of a response how you just projected onto me oh if if you're lonely like who said that i that i felt lonely if i feel like being around myself and to myself and i just don't feel like going anywhere because i really just wanted to sleep and that's what i did i had a great night's sleep i slept from like probably six seven something in the evening and now and now it's you know i'm up energized and ready to go for the next day okay it's probably like seven something in the morning right now so um yeah so i'm like why are you trying to project that onto me into my life um now so that's what inspired this video but this is the thing many of you guys are loners okay many of you are loners and you don't mind it though and I'm not saying and another reason this video is inspired because I did reach a dark night of the soul, as they call, probably a, f a few months ago, where my whole life, I never had a problem with being a loner. 
And I always have been a loner. I've been around, just like now, I, I'm around people. I be around people. I go out, I'm around people. I'm around family all the time, things like that. I'm, all, I'm, I'm mostly always around somebody. And I have to find my times out of the day where I can definitely be alone. And find ways of doing that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm around, you know, I'm around people. So the thing is, and it was the same way growing up, but I still always would consider myself, especially looking back on it, I was still kind of a loner or introvert, right? And that's always been by choice. And it's always been something that I was comfortable with. And I never thought anything of it. You know what I mean? And maybe a couple months ago, though, I something hit me where it was a dark night of the soul where I was like, oh, man, but my, you know, you do you do kind of seclude yourself a lot. You know what I mean? And things like that. What if you end up being some old guy all alone? Because see, I, a lot of my company like right now and this is a, this is going to be another great point. You know what I mean? I'm all about my children. You know what I mean? Like, um, that's the good thing about it. It probably would be different if I didn't have children, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all about my children. And so, but I did think about the the, the possibility, you know, the, the more you start to evolve and you start to pick up on information, you start to see different angles and you can see all angles. So, and you, and you have to consider everything, okay? It's all different types of timelines and you have to consider them all. You know what I mean? But you don't want to harp on the negative ones. See what I'm saying? And so um, just be grateful that you're able to pick up on so many angles and so much different information that you can somewhat start to manipulate your timelines better because things don't really catch you off guard because you realize the different possibilities. That's what happens um, with most people in life. That's why it's easy to get so egotistical and arrogant because you don't see all angles. And a lot of times we just, we plant ourselves in what we think we know and the angles that we can see and what our current situation is. And then that's when something eventually it happens to everybody. You know what I mean? It happens to every single person. Unless you could, like I said, it's probably some unseen masters living on this planet that realize this type of stuff. But for the most people, at some point in life, you know what I mean? That's kind of what depth is. You get something, something hits you from an angle that you didn't really see. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, and then that's the ultimate lesson. And so like this person was like, this person was projecting onto me and I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but this it's going to all make sense. It's all making sense. It's all going to come together. So this person was projecting to me and I had to make it a, a teaching point. I let the person know. I said, well, um, I never said anything about being lonely or feeling lonely or anything like that and you're trying to project that off onto me and um and the the frustrating thing about it is because i did trust this person and did tell him when i was going through that aspect of the dark night or so i was like you know i don't want to eventually i don't want to end up alone you know what i mean at the end. at least i ain't think i at that time like i said the dark night of the soul where a lot of stuff's coming up and you're dealing with a lot of fear and insecurities and things like that right um, but I, cause I don't know. I mean, I could, I could possibly be perfectly fine and it might be my will to want to be alone. You know what I mean? Even in old age, you see what I'm saying? But, um, at that time I was like, Oh, it was a fearful type, scary, scary type of thing. Right. And so I shared that with this person and I felt like that was a real, uh, crappy way to try to bring something that I trusted, uh, insecurity, uh, at a certain time that I trusted you with to try to bring that back up and gaslight me with it. But this person is going through a lot of stuff on themselves. And I was trying to make a teaching point of, you know, um, never project on somebody what you wouldn't want for yourself based on the fact that your heart can drop because imagine the very thing that you're trying to project onto other people actually end up happening to you. You see what I'm saying? And so, I was just thinking like uh I was I was really trying to use that as a teacher point and I didn't you know I mean I, I all the things I'm working on with myself I didn't get any, I use it as a way to teach and show and I even explained to that person that's why you rarely see me try to I don't talk about no no possible negative outcomes um anymore in regards to other people 
You know what I mean? Despite what I might think or what I might think I see in that moment that might lead me to say why well, I think this is going to happen. It ain't nothing positive because all I want is positivity to come into my life. So I don't want to speak something off on somebody else thinking it ain't my situation or it could never be my situation. And that's how life gets you right there. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, it's your situation. And then to imagine how you feel. You see what I'm saying? Because I've done that. I've done that. You know what I mean? Where, you know what I mean? You be projecting other stuff, other people. Sometimes you might, like I said, we are products of environment and the world. This is things that humans do. But somebody has to call these things out so we can try to correct it. You see what I'm saying? So I've been there while I project. And it's like, and then something would happen to me. It's like, wow, I never saw myself going. I ain't think I was in. It was easy for me to say this about this person, whatever. And then like, look, this happened to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then it makes you feel, you just, you feel like, man, you know what I mean? I, you know, and then that's the lesson. Like maybe if you don't have nothing positive to project on to somebody, then don't project anything at all. You can just have your own personal thoughts of what you think a certain outcome may be. But if it ain't positive, just keep it to yourself. Because you, at the end of the day, you don't know what the outcome of something could be. You see what I'm saying? But people want to always be right and they want to be justified. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, like I was saying, though, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm pretty much all about my kids at this point. You know what I mean? So, it serves me well. I don't want to take any attention off of my children. Um, this is romantically as far as, like, being... Um, feeling alone romantically possibly and things like that, why I choose to, why I'm just comfortable in the space that I'm in right now is because, for one, I don't want to bring anybody else into the picture, you know what I mean, um, around my children. I don't um, want to take any attention away from them. And that's, and you know what I mean, that's that's the main thing. So I'm just all about my children. As far as being lo feeling lonely per se, like literally having nobody around, that's just not, that's not my case. So as long as I got my children and my other family members and stuff like that, I'm good with that. Then I go out and I talk to people. You know, I got I got friends in the sense of people that I know that, you know what I mean? If I see them, I hold a little conversation. I'm good with stuff like that. Like, I don't need a best. Like, I, I'm, I'm good on having a best friend and somebody, people I'm talking to all the time and around all the time and stuff like that. I'm just good on that. You know what I'm saying? Um. So I, 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 you know, I believe I believe humans need some form of interaction. You know, what I mean, some need more or less than others, but I think we all need to interact with other other life. You see what I'm saying? Some um to some degree, and so I have that. But uh, as far as relationships and really taking somebody else seriously as a significant other and dealing with other people and having other people have to deal with me because another thing is a reason why you are a loner and so everything i'm saying i know it applies to somebody else out there so i don't uh, want to make this an egotistical video it seems like i'm just talking about myself look at what i'm saying as you i'm just taking um i'm taking a personal situation that a lot of you might be able to to some degree identify with it might be little things in this video that i'm saying that may make sense to you too so, um, you know, I'm, I'm all about my children and, um, and I'm good and I'm good with that. I put my, I put my, myself, my whole self into them. You know what I mean? And teaching them and being the best father that I can be to them under, uh, my circumstances. Okay. Um, uh, also, um, uh, with you chosen, like I was about to say, y'all, you are in a different space right now, okay? You're not um, compatible with a lot of people. Let's face it. You're not compatible with them. They're not compatible with you. Meaning that it is not an egotistical thing where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so much better than people now and I'm like this now and so I can't be around you and you can't be around me type of thing. It's more so about, it's how they are, it's how the other people are too, okay? It's, you're just too pol you're just too opposite at this point that somebody would have to compromise themselves to be around the other person. That makes sense. So either you gonna have to, you know what I mean, compromise yourself to be around them. You know what I mean, act like them or act the way that they want you to act or be the way they want you to be. Talk about the things they want you to talk about and stuff like that. 
And if a person just actually ain't compatible with you, it ain't no point of getting started. And so if that's the case, if a lot of what's available out there, if you already know that's not compatible with your frequency and your vibration in the first place, then what's the point? You see what I'm saying? Now, I ain't saying because some people, it may be meant for you to be in each other's lives to help each other along and to balance each other out. But if it end up being too much and you can tell when it's too much. And like I said, if that right person comes into your life, then it, then it happens. But a lot of you shouldn't be seeking that type of stuff right now. OK. We are in a very sensitive and pivotable. I mean, pivotable, <laughs> pivotable, pivotable, pivotal. <laughs> we are at a very pivotal time right now where you need to be working on yourself, okay? You need to be working on clearing out all your traumas. You need to be worrying about clearing up all whatever internal mess you got going on about yourself and how you are and stuff like that. You need to be raising your frequency, raising your vibration, honing your, your skills, honing, honing your talents, your gifts spiritually growing spiritually strengthening yourself spiritually and then like i said a lot of you got children you need to be focusing and then with it and then whatever you ain't putting into yourself it need to be going into them period all right so that's that's what it's all about and i say other family and stuff like that but you got to understand you know what i mean with your family it, you kind of got to be more hands off. If you see they not trying to go down a certain path, you, you know, you put out there what you put out there. A lot of you have done your work. It, people going to either accept it or they're not. You see what I'm saying? Like, so with that, it's kind of like you still got to be around your family and love your family and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But um, at the same time, you don't want to be putting yourself in a situation where you got to be trying to battle. Where you got to be trying to, like you said, you got to either minimize yourself to be the way that they're trying to have things be. You see what I'm saying? Or they will have to minimize with their intentions and what they want, how they want to be. They will have to do that um, for you in order for it to be a space that, that you want. You see what I'm saying? To be in or, you know, or the vibe that you want. So you got to take the high road a lot of times and let people be who they are. You know what I mean? Um, and still love and accept them for who they are at that at that time. You know what I mean? Um, so chosen, that's why many of you are alone. I hope this video, may, I hope there was some good juice, some good things to consider in this video, what I said, and try to time it up with yourself. You know, um, ways that you, oh, another, oh, another great point. Another, because this is the thing, a lot of you on this spiritual journey, guys, you have to learn to become that master. You have to, that's the, the dark shot of the soul. If you do fear loneliness, like a lot of humans do, whether they realize it or not, um, you have to try to work on being in a spot of solitude where if you absolutely didn't have nobody else around, you could still be fine. As far as keeping your mind and keeping, you know what I mean? And things like that. You have to be completely good with yourself to not always need validation and and, and, and things from other, and inspiration from other people and all that type of stuff. I'm battling it right now. I can't stop. I can't keep my, the reason I'm good with kind of being to myself because it's a great opportunity for me, for, for, uh, opportunity for me to just constantly be learning and stuff. But I always, I say to myself, man, what if I ain't had this phone? What if I ain't had this internet? You know what I mean? I'd be losing my mind. You see what I'm saying? Like, and so I'd be like, that's a challenge. That I might have to start, you know what I mean? I might have to start fasting from my uh my phone. Fasting, if you fast from other people and your phone, you you have to learn how to be in a space of solitude for as long as possible and still try to pull in. I know it's easier said than done, but it might be something that you need to be trying to work on in this in this time and in this moment, being good with yourself. Because they say when we transition, you ain't transitioning with nobody but yourself at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So you have to also learn how to be good with being alone and not fear being alone. You know what I mean? Mastering that. It don't mean that you have to be alone, but get to that point where that's no longer a weakness of yours. It's not something that can be exploited. Make, make sense? Um, so, yeah, hopefully this was a good video, guys. Peace.